Xiaomi will celebrate Valentine's Day with Redmi Note 4X launch. iPhone 8 might downsize itself into a 5-inch model. A streaming-only album has won Grammy's Best Rap Album of the Year 2017. Today is Monday, February the 13th and this is 360 Daily. Even after their breakup with Hugo Barra, Xiaomi seems to be in the Valentine's Day spirit. Xiaomi Redmi Note 4X is going on sale tomorrow, that is February the 14th. Now the Chinese pricing of this smartphone is 999 Chinese won, but in India you'll get it for 9,700 rupees approximately. Redmi Note 4X is only available in 3GB of RAM variant. Now, Xiaomi Redmi Note 4X might look similar to Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, but the biggest differentiator is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 processor. iPhone 8 is tipped to have an iris scanner and it also might be downsized into a 5-inch model. Now, 2017 is an important year for the iPhone because it completes 10 years since the first launch of the iPhone. Wireless charging, all-glass display, iris scanner and 5-inch model, which rumour will be true when it comes to iPhone 8? The Moto G5 launch price might be lower than the Moto G4 launch price. Now, the new leak claims that the Moto G5 model might be priced at 189 euros, that is 13,500 rupees for the 2GB model. This, of course, is the European pricing. Now, the G4 was priced at 249 euros, obviously in Europe, and the Indian pricing for the same smartphone was 12,499 rupees. Now, usually the trend is the European prices is higher than the Indian pricing or the US pricing. Tim Cook says that firms must up their game when it comes to tackling fake news. All of us technology companies need to create some tools that will help diminish the volume of fake news. The US tech giant boss told the Daily Telegraph in an interview. A streaming-only album has won the best rap album of 2017 at the Grammys. Now, the guy that made this happen is Chance the Rapper and I know there is a chance that you might have not heard of him. Nor have I, but we must because this 23-year-old from Chicago has beaten not just Jay-Z, but even Kanye West and DJ Khaled. So, check it out. Now, the late Prince had a shaky relationship when it came to the internet and the record labels. Prince accused them for putting artists in what he called as virtual slavery. This, of course, was before today. It was a Prince tribute night at the Grammys this year. Prince's albums on Warner Brothers Records came on to streaming sites including Spotify, Apple Music and Amazon. Spotify said that they were honoured to bring back work of such a legendary artist to music lovers everywhere. Prince had withdrawn all his work from streaming sites except Tidal, which is Jay-Z's streaming website. James Corden's Carpool Karaoke is an official hit. Something that started as a segment on his Late Lit show has now become a series on Apple Music. It's called the Carpool Karaoke the series and it will have 16 half-hour episodes. And this is the trailer. Oh, hell no. You know you make me feel so good. Oh, hell no. That's all on this edition of 360 Daily. I'm Devika Chitnis with camera person Aman Rashid. When you're in the swag, the train's not in the swag. Too many swags happening at the same time. So I remove my shoes and I become short. But it's not that short. <laughs>